I want to thank the listeners and viewers of InfoWars. And on this Thanksgiving and this Black Friday that's coming up, we're going to extend free shipping store-wide to people specifically that have the promo code FREE. The same corporate establishment media that told you thousands of times that Donald Trump couldn't be the nominee and that Donald Trump then couldn't win the election, or that Donald Trump was 5, 10, 15, 20 points behind, despite the fact that real polls showed he was 10 points ahead on average. The same media that tells you that Iraq had WMDs and that tells you that Obamacare is free is now pushing a national movement to have the electors from the states that represent the voters when they... Uh, coming up in December 20th, certify via the Electoral College that Donald John Trump, the first, is our 45th president of the United States. They're pushing a movement to overturn that. They've now got, quote, Bernie Sanders electors. I don't know how that works. Uh, claiming that they, too, uh, are going to be giving uh, their votes to Hillary to unseat President Trump. This is all part of the destabilization of this country, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go over, though, the evidence here that it is uncontrovertible fact that 3 million illegals voted and that tens of millions of people were on the voter rolls who were dead and at least 4 million of them voted as well. So what's 3 and 4 million? 7 million people voted that were either not citizens, were illegal, or were dead. Now, that's Associated Press, that's Reuters, that's Fox News, that's Pew Research. That is not debatable. We're going to put some of those articles up on screens. Some numbers had 20 million dead people potentially voting. But conservatively, we know 4 million. Now, remember, Sanders was winning across the country, and even Stanford University certified that he was the winner. We now have WikiLeaks that have come out where they're threatening different people. Democrats saying, listen, stop being for Sanders. He will be the nominee. He's been chosen. This is months and months and months and months, even before the convention. So the fix was in. They told us Donald Trump couldn't win as well. Remember that? Even though he had double the votes in the primary. They were saying, oh, the super delegates, they're going to decide. But Trump fought it, so they didn't get away with it. So first, Trump lost by a half million. Then it was a million. Now they're saying 1.6 as they go back and make announcements. But Paul Watson wrote for InfoWars.com today and pointed out they claimed a recount in Michigan that never even happened. They said it was digital, but it's all paper ballots. Trump was getting 20,000 people in Michigan. She was getting 300. Again, the evidence is it was a landslide for Trump. And here's what's really key. The DNC admitted they stole the election from Bernie Sanders. And Stanford Research, again, at Stanford University, said the same thing. But then it gets even more hardcore. We had Bev Harris, a Democrat, a liberal, the lady that exposed the fact that Gore had the 2000 election stolen from him. I'm nonpartisan. I concurred with her analysis in 2000. Bipartisan fraud goes back and forth. The Republican establishment was against Trump as well. So she came on before and after the election, and the day after the election she came on, the full video is on Infowars.com. The article video is titled, Hillary tried to steal election from Trump but failed Bev Harris. Five states showed massive anomalies that tipped and went to Hillary when all the evidence showed it was a Trump win, including over 100% of the voters in precincts going for Hillary. That is impossible. But the landslide was so big in the other counties, in some of the major swing states, she was unable to prevail. So, millions of dead people voting, millions of illegals voting, at least five states being stolen for Hillary. We're talking five, six, seven, eight million people more voting for Trump, if you look at the evidence, in the popular vote than did. So if you believe this 1.6 million number they've got, you add that to say 5 million, a conservative number, we're still talking about 3 plus million people, almost 4 million people that voted for Trump than for Hillary. Look at the crowds. Look at the numbers. Look at how they rigged the polls. Look at how the media gave the questions in the debates every time to Hillary ahead of schedule. Look at how the head of the DNC and then the second head of the DNC got caught lying, caught over and over again. This is the reality. Donald J. Trump didn't just win the Electoral College in a landslide. He also clearly won the popular vote. But now they're pushing the Soros fraud 
that he is illegitimate and that he stole the election when this is a giant referendum against globalism and what the New World Order has been doing. But I haven't even gotten to the evidence yet. This is just the foundation, which is open and shut, that Trump is the overall winner of popular and electoral votes. We then have Project Veritas in a devastating coup, getting multiple top officials in the Democratic Party that head up their election voting systems and get out the vote programs like Kramer and others, admitting that they were going to steal and have people vote 10 times and that nothing could stop them and that they could F their mother and get away with it and that they had people voting over and over again using list of dead people yet again. So we have all of that footage. Then we have the election official over all of New York City, a Democrat, but like Bev Harris, a good person. Used to be a day back when I thought Democrats might be better than Republicans. He just, he came out and said that, oh my gosh, uh, two Project Veritas, there's massive fraud. They're busing people around to vote illegally over and over again, already in early voting. He just got relieved by the mayor of New York City as the head of elections last week for telling the truth. It needs to be the mayor that gets removed, not the head of elections. Then we had women and men arrested in Florida, Colorado, and a bunch of other states voting repeatedly, and they had lists of dead people that they'd been given to go out and, again, steal the election. That's election fraud through the individuals at the grassroots, voter fraud. But it's technically election fraud because it's organized at the top. They want to tell us that election fraud wasn't going on by organizing blocks of voters to engage in voter fraud when a whole bunch of states got laws passed or almost passed to let illegals vote in sanctuary cities. And then, of course, we caught illegals voting in the sanctuary cities. So it's Hillary that tried to steal the election, and her and her evil supporters got their criminal asses kicked. So just get used to it. But I'm going to tell the schmucks that support Hillary something. You're delusional. That witch doesn't care about you. What do you have to lose with Trump? He wants to cut people's taxes who are working class to zero. God almighty, just let Trump take the government out of your way. Now, in closing, you've got to check this evidence out for yourself. The integrity of our election systems is under attack. And it was the Democrats who were always screaming bloody murder about it, and rightfully so, because Republicans have stolen elections, that are the ones telling us now, don't look at election fraud before the election. Obama said it didn't exist. Trump was crazy. I was crazy. But the U.N. had to come in and oversee the elections. Then as soon as the election takes place, they claim it's a fraud and that Trump basically stole the election. You can't have your cake and eat it too. So to everybody out there that's butthurt over the fact that Hillary Clinton lost, you ran a corrupt kleptocrat warmonger, one of the most evil people in modern world history, who lied about stolen valor like Brian Williams, the list goes on and on, who stole the money from the Haitian children. Even Chelsea was angry at her about that. You ran a horrible, dirty criminal that even liberals like Julian Assange exposed and said was much worse than Trump. So it's your fault you're not a real liberal like Julian Assange or Bev Harris or all these other great people uh, like Edward Snowden that are telling the truth. It's your fault that you are morally bankrupt and don't care what the truth is, and are now mad that your arch criminal couldn't get in, even though she was just going to screw you over like Obama did black voters once he got in. If Trump delivers on cutting taxes, if Trump delivers on securing our border, if Trump delivers on battling and stopping ISIS and not launching wars with Russia, he's already delivered because he's not out to get the American people. That's the difference with Trump. And the left wants to break this country's will and totally conquer it. It's just an act of a power trip. It's an act of control freaks. And not just the U.S., but the world is rejecting it. Marie Le Pen, the patriot nationalist, is leading in the French polls. Catalonia just pulled out of Spain. The U.K. is beginning to pull out of the euro because it's unelected and evil. The Russians are pulling out of the New World Order. We're pulling out, and this is just the beginning. They're going to push back, and we're going to lose some battles. But overall, we have the initiative because we're pointing out that an unelected criminal global system has hijacked control of humanity. And once the public understands that global government's real, and once the public understands global government's aims are very authoritarian, it will be basically impossible to stop the nationalist movement of free determination that's spreading across the world.
And in closing, in another report we're going to file today, we have caught people at universities and high schools and apartment complexes and neighborhoods and at bars and at theaters going to Trump events and screaming, Hail Trump, Heil Hitler, to then blame Trump. Now, everybody knows the left's been caught doing this thousands of times, the fake church burnings, all of it. But here's the deal. The media isn't even mentioning that it could be fake and could be a false flag. New levels of lying are taking place. The good news is citizen journalists are going to all these events and videotaping the whole thing and then able to prove and find who was doing it and found out the guys doing Hall Hitler, in one case, were Jewish. So again, this is what the left is doing. Uh, people want to be victims. It's very, very sad. It's very, very corrupt. It's very, very evil. And they think demonizing anybody who supports Trump as racist is going to work. You've already failed. You're not running your old false flags in the dark anymore. People are aware of it. So that's coming up in part two, report today, and so much more. I'm Alex Jones signing off for Infowars.com, thanking you all for your support and all of you for spreading the word, no matter what color you are, where you came from. It doesn't matter. If you want free association, if you want liberty, if you want freedom, if you want a true end to classism and racism, embrace the free market. Humans are all tribalist. Let's be tribalist about free will, free association. You got great music. You write a great book. You make a great omelet. Uh, you paint a great painting. I don't care what color you are, if you're German, Jewish, or Chinese. I love you because of what you produce and what you stand for, like Martin Luther King said. The left is not the left anymore. They have turned their back on that and are using ancient technologies of racism and control to divide us, and they must fail. Now, as for Trump, we'll see what he does. I like a lot of what he's done. I don't like some of what he's done. It doesn't matter. He's a manifestation of the awakening. And if he doesn't ride that wave, if he gets off that wave, that's his problem. This wave continues on. I love you all. Now, let's get to work because the war has just begun. I want to thank the listeners and viewers of InfoWars. We've changed the world. Even mainstream media admits that we're bigger than CNN. We're as big as Fox. We're bigger than the BBC on Quantcast. You name it. I want to thank you all for your support. And on this Thanksgiving and this Black Friday that's coming up, we're going to extend free shipping store-wide to people specifically that have the promo code FREE. Some of the specials are as high as 50% on incredibly high-quality products like Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver. That's 50% off and free shipping. That is a loss leader at InfoWarsStore.com. Trump is my president shirt is about to sell out. It's limited edition. It is for sale at cost, $9.95, shipping included. All you have to do is put in promo code FREE at checkout to get free shipping on top of discounts up to 50% off store-wide at InfoWarsStore.com. You can also call toll-free, 888-253-3139. But for myself, the InfoWars family, and everybody else in this fight, I want to salute and thank all of you for your support. Whatever you do, keep spreading the articles, the videos to everybody you know. It is absolutely devastating the globalists because we're on the march and the freaking empire is on the run. I want to thank the listeners and viewers of InfoWars. And on this Thanksgiving and this Black Friday that's coming up, we're going to extend free shipping store-wide to people specifically that have the promo code FREE. The same corporate establishment media that told you thousands of times that Donald Trump couldn't be the nominee and that Donald Trump then couldn't win the election, or that Donald Trump was 5, 10, 15, 20 points behind, despite the fact that real polls showed he was 10 points ahead on average. The same media that tells you that Iraq had WMDs and that tells you that Obamacare is free is now pushing a national movement to have the electors from the states that represent the voters when they, uh, coming up in December 20th, certify via the Electoral College that Donald John Trump the first, this is all part of the destabilization of this country, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go over, though, the evidence here that it is uncontrovertible fact that 3 million illegals voted and that tens of millions is our 45th president of the United States. They're pushing a movement to overturn that. They've now got, quote, Bernie Sanders electors. I don't know how that works. Uh, claiming that they, too... Uh, are going to be giving uh, their votes to Hillary to unseat President Trump. 